Hello everyone. So the NEET PG 2023, not just the exam, but the results are also done. Congratulations to those who have got great results. But I know that there are many students who are not very happy with the results as well. So I don't want you to sit over the results and get disheartened by it, but rather use the upcoming INICT exam as your next opportunity and given your best shot. Trust me, no matter what ranks you've got in the NEET PG23 exam, you can crack INICT. It's a very, very crackable exam. You need some smart strategy and some smart and secret resources to crack this exam. In this video today, I'm going to tell you those five secret smart resources which give you an extra edge for INICT exam. A word of caution here, please use these resources provided first you have finished the previous year questions and the related topics i would say do the last 10 years because inict you would see a lot of repeats in the last inict exam we had repeats even from 2014 and 2015 paper so starting with the resources the first one of course the book which has a lot of buzz around that is the usmle first aid for step one now if you are not able to read the entire book at least the must do sections from this book are biochemistry microbiology psychiatry hematology at least try to do this and try to have a look at the images that are given in this book second resource for someone who finds physiology difficult if you have a look at the previous year inicd papers it tends to ask a lot of for graphs and numericals so i would definitely suggest practicing mcqs at the end of every chapter of this book called board review series the brs physiology practice those mcqs plus the comprehensive test that is given at the end of the book, which has around 50 questions. Trust me, it will clear a lot of concepts in physiology and it will help you develop those skills in solving the clinical applied questions in physiology. Next, one of the most dreaded subjects for majority of the students and yes, that is pharmacology. Now, for pharmacology, a very concise resource is the book called Kadzang, the Kadzanka Review and Assessment Wala book, which at the end of every chapter, gives the summary of the chapter the drugs with their pharmacokinetics the mechanism of action the side effects in the last inict exam there was a question on hiv drug causing palm hyperpigmentation not the nail pigmentation and the answer was m not zidobudin and this is given in kadzanka table so that's definitely a good resource to uh, quickly revise entire pharmacology next uh, dermatology images from the book called Nina Khanna is an absolute must do for INICT. Almost all your dermat images come from that. And remember these short subjects are actually scoring for the INICT exam. And the last resource, AIMS Neonatology Protocols. You will find them on the website. You can check for AIMS Neonatology Protocols. And in that, you will see there are PDFs of the various protocols. So you can just take out half an hour or an hour daily for these resources. You don't need to invest a lot of time into this. So along with your primary resource that you have been using, you can just add half an hour or one hour because you know that every question matters. One question, but it is like huge ranks difference. So I hope these resources help you get that one extra question correct. And I do believe that it will. So let's crack the INICT together. Thank you so much, everyone. Goodbye, take care and keep studying, keep revising and keep winning.